Welcome to this edition of Video Ask a Master, where we discuss all things Mimeo. M.A. Wilson asks, Where can I find different shapes to add to my lessons on the Mimeo Studio toolbar? The toolbar did change a little bit with recent software upgrades, and many users have asked where to find favorite tools on the new toolbar. In this video, I will demonstrate where the shape tool can be found on the Mimeo Studio toolbar and also demonstrate use of different shapes and lines in Mimeo Studio lessons to enhance your lessons. Now on to your question. The Mimeo Studio toolbar has changed a little bit. In order to find your shapes you now need to go to the third icon down, right click on it, and when you do you'll come up with a menu that has lines, and from here you can choose whether your line is just a line, arrow end, arrow start, or an arrow on both ends. And you can also choose on the toolbar whether your lines are solid, dashed, or with dots. You can also choose your shapes under this menu. Again, your shapes can also have solid, dashed, or dot outlines. You can also choose the color of your shapes. You can choose the exterior line and the interior line by simply clicking on them and deciding you want the colors that are shown or you can choose custom colors. You can further customize your shapes by choosing to have them be solid or semi-transparent. So let's show you a little bit of that. I'm going to choose some shapes. I'm going to go third icon down I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose a triangle. And there's a reason for a moment. I'm going to choose green for the inside and green for the outside. And now I can choose my triangle shape. I just click and drag to choose my shape and the size that I want it to be. Using this tool I can easily make a Christmas tree. So I can also have my students use the shape tool to make and decorate a Christmas tree. So using what I've just learned with my triangle, I'm going to make three triangles. Doesn't matter what size because no Christmas trees are alike. And I'm going to then put them together. going to go back to my shapes and I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to make it black on both the inside and the outside to make my trunk of my Christmas tree. Snug it right up there to the bottom and then I'm going to decorate my tree and I can do this several ways. Easiest way is to choose an ellipse choose the color I want. For the sake of this I'm going to choose red. I can make several different sizes and using the cloning tool I can choose them, clone them, and I can decorate my tree very handily simply by dragging them over and putting them where I want on my tree. As many as I want, as many times as I want, wherever I want. Now, no tree is complete without a star. So I choose my five-pointed star. I want it to be gold. I draw it out, choose it, and I place it on top of my tree. So just using the shape tool I've created a very festive Christmas tree. You can also use line arrow tools in your lessons. You find the lines and the arrows in the same places you found your shapes. You right click, choose line, and again choose what type of line you want and what color of line you want. You can have a solid line you can have a dashed line, 
and you can have a dotted line. You can also change and have lines with arrows either on one end or both ends, either way you want. I use the line and arrow tool a lot in my teaching. Um, I use it to underline concepts that I want students to pay attention to and I also have students use it when I want them to find certain parts of speech or certain concepts in a lesson. So keeping with our holiday theme, here we have part of a very famous poem and what I'm going to ask a student to do is to find the similes using the line or the shape tools. So what can happen here is keeping with my, my red line I just want a solid line and I would ask a student to come up and underline the similes. Now knowing that similes are words that compare things to others using like or as, they could underline roses, they could underline cherry, or I could also ask them to circle the similes and there I would use my ellipse, I would make my interior clear, and then they could come up and they could circle the similes. Just a really easy way to use your lines and shape tools to enhance your lessons and help your students interact with the Mimeo Studio software. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it informative. If you have a question, don't hesitate to ask us. Visit us at mimeoconnect.com and choose Ask a Master. We look forward to helping you with your questions in the new year. Have a great holiday season.